Welcome to our little tomb. <laughs> when did you get back to Berlin? Last night. From the front? East Prussia. Bad as they say. Worse. The situation conference is going on right now. It started shortly after midnight. So things are getting a little more desperate. Peter Günther, would you make it known that Reich Minister Speer has arrived? Yes, sir. Well, what do you think of the place? It's clammy. That too. Cold and clammy one moment and warm and sultry the next. It's not exactly one of your architectural marvels, Speer. I didn't design this one. Good. It also smells. We're 50 feet below the ground here, which is 20 feet below the sewer. Little caution. Borman isn't the only one here who'd like to cut our throats. Now tell me, is it true? About the plan to destroy everything? The towns? The villages? The plan exists, yes. Well, will you go through with it? Unless I can talk him out of it. You think that's possible? Excuse me. They've asked you to join the conference. And here at Helmstadt, Panzer Division 6 and 12 have regrouped with 27 new Tiger tanks. We have most encouraging news from General Dietrich. He's repulsed the enemy all along the sector west of the Saar. The Luftwaffe reports the loss of 629 aircraft in the month of December. However, in spite of this, we've brought down 87 enemy bombers. We still have four Panzer divisions fully committed to Budapest. They're confident they can hold the city. The two Panzer armies who fought so gallantly in the Ardennes have now regrouped. We can't. They've been resupplied. But of course, we cannot no. offer them the same it's reinforcement going to fall. from the Air Force. When it does, the city disappears from the map. Perhaps the Reich Minister of Armaments could they supply us in production. Figures, as we're not at all certain, as of this moment, exactly where we stand. I would call upon him, if you would, my Führer. Speer. The Führer would like to hear the December production figures. The overall production of armaments is down 23%. We are, however, maintaining full production of fighter planes and Panther tanks. Our greatest difficulty right now is getting gasoline to supply them. Two of our largest hydrogenerating plants have been destroyed in air raids, as you well know. The production of synthetic gasoline is at a standstill. And we've all... Thank you, Speer. We've heard enough. And Dr. Morell is with the Führer. It'll be a few moments. Oh, good afternoon, Albert. Or is it evening? You can't tell the difference down here. I'm sorry to keep you waiting. You may go in now. Sit down, spare. Coffee? No, thank you. One of the few people I can trust. Speer. Coffee, sit down. Coffee. Did Bowman send you the instructions? <clears throat> yes. Good. So you would understand we want complete demolition. I know how. Fire, explosives, whatever it takes. Whatever it takes to do what? I mean, I can understand the destruction of uh, bridges and factories and military installations, but surely you don't mean houses and farm animals well, and everything. Church. Everything. We want nothing left to the enemy. You understand? We want nothing left to the enemy. But under such circumstances, the German people would face utter starvation. We'd all be thrown back to conditions of the Middle Ages. Yeah. But should the war be lost? That is defeatist talk, and I will not allow that. The German people that are left? The German people that are left would not deserve to live. The good ones will have died already fighting for their fatherland. We must leave them something, 
some, no matter how primitive form of society, something. I think you despair far too much, Spear. We've had our setbacks from the beginning, and every setback has always been a, a whiplash, driving us onward with more determination than before. This time we will show the enemy that we will not surrender. We'll never surrender. We'll continue the attack again and again. Ten times over, we'll continue the attack. Policy has been set. Carry it out. Well, did you see him? You are quite right, Colonel. At one moment it's warm and sultry, and then suddenly it's cold and clammy. Ah. Oh. Too bad. Under the circumstances, I think I'll have a word with the engineer. See if we can't change the atmosphere down here. 